ISIL is not just destroying historic sites. The group is also taking prisoners, sometimes torturing them and killing them on camera. But amid the fight against ISIL, what happens when Islamic State fighters are caught? CCTV's Mahal Baradavid has insight talking to ISIL prisoners in Iraq. Iraq is one of the countries struggling to defeat Islamic State. In Kirkuk City, the Kurdish security force known as the Kirkuk Asayish is fighting ISIL on a whole other level as they try to destroy the terrorist organization to the core. This is where Kirkuk Asayish investigators take ISIL militants into custody before sending them to court. Unlike ISIL, which recently published a video of their captives being burned alive, these prisoners are treated like humans. Nevertheless, even in handcuffs, this ISIL prisoner repeats his oath and his pledge to the terrorist group. This prisoner will likely spend his life behind bars, yet he does not seem concerned. When I die, I will get 72 wives and 40 of my relatives will be forgiven. Despite this act of allegiance, the head of the investigation unit tells us it is their mental state rather than religious values that brings these people together. They are insane people. They come to fight under the effect and impact of their ideology. Most of the time, those who come to join ISIS are not even related to Islam, but they have the same brutal ideologies. That's why they follow ISIS. This prisoner, without doubt, supports ISIL and willingly admits so. In my opinion, ISIS members are good religious people, and Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is our caliph. I will go back for the Islamic State, to ISIS. They have taught us, and that's finished. I am with their ideology. I will kill all of you. ISIL is no doubt an irrational organization, yet experts believe their flaws lie elsewhere. The weakness of ISIS fighters is the lack of their political skills. When we face them and interrogate them, we see they are not experienced and they have just followed slogans. Understanding Islamic State's strategy and defeating them on the battlefield is crucial. But the comprehensive operations held by Iraq and other neighboring countries also carry great significance to ultimately destroy ISIL in its entirety. Mikhail Bardavid, CCTV News.